Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to create bulk users in Intune. Uh, either we can create directly from our users, all users, and create from here new user. Or if you want to create a bulk users, go back to either Azure Portal or you can try with uh, creating from the directly from the Office 365 portal. I feel uh, we can easily create from Office 365 admin portal so you can uh, check out this lecture if you want to create multiple user accounts. So go back to all active users and then click uh, click on multiple users. This gives me a sample file here with the header information. This also gives the sample file along with the sample user information. So I'll simply download that sample information. I'll just browse. Uh, I'll open that file. That should show me how the information will be there so so in this case these all the user accounts has been already showing as the sample so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a sample user account but I wanted to change this to my proper domain name so what I'll do is I'll simply uh, replace these values uh, with my at the rate uh, omnia.com which is my uh, domain verified domain name in this case and simply replacing everywhere file replacements has been done now uh, now I can simply import this or you can create your own account for example you want to create a let's giving here Dan at omni.com information first name and the last name I'm trying to configure for the user Dan and then the display name should be Daniel example and the job title maybe is in the sales uh, maybe it's into finance and uh, whatever the phone number example I just filled up all these details uh, in a past state and simply I save this and I can import this uh, file altogether to my intern portal or sorry to my office 365 portal by simply browsing and just uh, show that uh, from the browse and then verify it's going to verify hey there are a few of the problems with the file you can check the log files if you have the problem it says that uh, the row number two has an invalid domain or other information will be you know showing showing up here so you need to fix those and then you can uh, simply import those users so that the bulk users can be created automatically if you can see here uh, this is the log file which is saying that hey it's going to be in my domain name or the username so if i go back and open up this users it clearly says that hey there is no dot com so that's why it says that hey it's a problem so if i can correct this problem uh, very similar to this like only a dot com was missing so if i can do that it can easily import so this is what i wanted to show you kind of you know error so i thought you know do now i'm replacing every value here replace all the shared replace everything is correct now i'm gonna save this and input back once again so that there will not be any issues this time browsing my users verify one more time it looks good the file this time click on next it's going to create the required users and this is where we can assign the licenses so in my case i don't want to assign licenses but i want to continue with create user without product license option to be taken so let's uh, uh sign in is allowed at this point of time but i'm not gonna assign any of the licenses because i would be showing this later point how to assign for each user maybe uh, we can do that so let's uh, take this uh, you know the button uh, to create users without product license click on next so that uh, we can uh, proceed further so if you can see here uh, if you want to assign as explicitly some kind of licenses you can do that but uh, for now no licenses I don't want to assign click on next so that would uh, create six users and I can download their user accounts information including their passwords all let's verify from the active users you can see here all those six users got created including our Daniel or Dan account uh, which is also created without unlicensed uh, in fact we have not assigned the licenses that concludes how to create a bulk user Users. Thank you for watching this.